It would cost too much for her me to save her, and it was no guarantee that I could save her. Tonight, the dog owner is forced to make a heartbreaking decision to put down her puppy after her enraged ex-boyfriend kept his deadly promise. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally on the family's grief and why they are now fearing for their lives. But tonight, we definitely want to warn you that some of the pictures you're about to see are graphic. The dog's owner, hoping prosecutors bring heftier charges against the man charged with taking out his frustrations with his ex on her dog. Harley, Harley, I love you. They called the six-month-old lab hey, Harley. Harley. They called her other things, too. She was, a, she was a happy little puppy. She always loved everybody. She was already trained. She could do tricks. She was just a really great dog. But a gunshot ended all that early Thursday morning. She had a gaping hole on the right side of her snout. She was bleeding really bad. You could see how much blood she lost. I had her in my arms taking her home and she's just whining and crying. Facing hefty medical bills and no guarantee the dog would pull through, Michaela had Harley put down. Police charged 22-year-old Jacob Hooten with animal cruelty, a misdemeanor. Michaela Kate, Haley's owner, says the shotgun attack was no accident. He was just mad at me. I wouldn't, I told him I didn't want to be with him. And he told me that he wanted to make me feel the hurt that I was hurting on him by killing my dog. I keep asking that, who does this? Who hurts an animal? Now, not only are Michaela's family and friends grieving their lost puppy, they're also fearful for their safety. I think he should be locked away. If he's going to do that to a poor animal, what would he do to my daughter? Franklin County Sheriff say the investigation's continuing. Michaela's mother points to the suspect's prior domestic violence charges involving another woman, saying use of a firearm in the dog shooting case should bring serious felony charges, not just animal cruelty. I just want to know that I'm going to be safe going home at night, and if he does get out, I just want to know that he's not going to try and come hurt me or my friends. She and her friends say when they went to get the wounded dog Thursday, Hooten... He said that he would call the law and shoot us if we stepped on the property. She plans to get a restraining order. We tried but couldn't reach the suspect for comment. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.